This is a place world-renowned for its rich tradition, described as classic and timeless. Now it plays host to a family of vehicles that fit the same description, each representing a different generation of innovation, style, and elegance. This is a journey through automotive history, the S-Class, the evolution of excellence. It's a journey that begins at the dawn of the 20th century and marks several early milestones in automotive design. The 1907 car is an interesting car. It's a very early car from the automotive age. And if you think about it, if you went just a few years prior to that, cars very much still looked like a carriage that used to have a horse in front of it. Even a car with a steering wheel was unheard of a couple years prior. It usually had a tiller, it didn't really have a wheel. So the basic concept of the car was something that morphed later on into what we know as a car today. In the early 1950s, the Mercedes-Benz 300 models are released. Nicknamed the Adenauer, the 300D would become a symbol of strength and luxury. Germany lay in ruins after the war. There was really nothing left. Everything was flattened. And it was important for Germany to get back on its feet again. First post-war chancellor was Konrad Adenauer, and he became associated with this car. He wanted to show that better days were ahead, and very indicative of that is this particular car that was the best of the best car, a high-end car, beautiful wood dash, a beautiful leather interior, and the engineering of the car. It was a very high-tech car, overhead cam engine, fuel injection. These are things that were quite exotic at the time. Several years later, the introduction of the 220 S-Class solidified Mercedes-Benz's reputation as a leader in automotive safety. This is the 220 SEB, a bold representative of its era. When we talk about the 220 SEB, uh, we often refer to that car as the fin tail. The fins on the car were not just a stylistic element, they were a safety element that you could see the far corners of the car. That car in particular was one of the first cars that we had that exhibited crumple zones. So this was a car designed to have passive safety in the event of an accident, that the passenger cell of the car would be protected in the event of a frontal or a, a rear collision. And you could get a, quite a good impact on that car and still open the doors and step out of the car. A lot of the surfaces inside the car are soft materials, so there was a comprehensive safety package that was started with that particular model that then carried on through further models through the years. The 1970s showcased a new series of dynamic vehicles that were widely recognized as the very best in the world. The 300 SEL 6.3 is credited as the birth of the AMG series, a true breakthrough in performance. That was a car that often was referred to as a banker's hot rod because most of those cars were built with a six-cylinder engine. However, that car received a 6.3-liter V8. That was the engine that was basically borrowed from the 600. Uh, it was Mercedes' first V8 engine, 250 horsepower, which was a huge number back in the day, a tremendous amount of torque. It was a car that didn't look the part. It looked very understated. So if you think about those cars, the majority of them are six cylinders, but then there's the exception. There's the car that you didn't expect, the car that is kind of under the radar a little bit and is capable of taking on any sports car of the day, outrunning any sports car of the day, and not even trying too hard doing it. The 600S is an automotive icon that demanded respect and attention, a vehicle remembered for transporting many famous celebrities of the time. It technically was the replacement to the Adenauer, so it was intended for a head of state or a captain of industry. Uh, it was a leading edge technology car, it had a, uh, an air suspension system for wonderful ride quality. All of the controls in the car were hydraulic. So if you lower a window, you move a seat, you open a sunroof, it's completely silent in that car. It is a car that if you see today, you don't even have to be a car person and you realize that that car is something special. The 450 SEL was a vehicle unparalleled in design and safety, the most aerodynamically efficient motor car of its era. That car also, from a design perspective, integrates a lot of uh, safety technology into the car. So there are elements to the car. You would look at the interior of the car and say, okay, it's a beautifully uh, styled interior, but there's a lot of functionality in terms of passive safety built into the design. In particular, all of the surfaces inside the car are soft surfaces. 
people. Most people would not realize that something is styled in a certain way for safety reasons. It doesn't really jump out of you, well, they put that in there to make it safer. No, uh, it's just a very nice design that integrates safety right from the start, which is something that carries through to the new cars as well. The SEL was also the first car in the world to implement anti-lock brakes, a hallmark of automotive history and a clear continuation of the S-Class's legacy as the very best. Building upon a rich heritage of design, comfort, luxury, safety, performance, style, and innovation, Mercedes-Benz now unveils the future of automotive excellence with the all-new S-Class. There's a presence to the S-Class. There's a pronounced establishment, a status that you immediately recognize when you see the S-Class. We've taken a whole slew of design cues from the past, and as always with the S-Class, we've been the trailblazer in technologies and safety innovations. In true S-Class tradition, the all-new S-Class includes the very best in comfort and luxury, all precisely designed to provide drivers and their passengers with the ultimate transportation experience. The S-Class is the heart of our Intelligent Drive strategy. Intelligent Drive is a host of safety systems, driver assistance systems, which alleviate stress on drivers while driving, but also keep the roadways safer. The all-new S-Class strives for the very best in performance, providing extraordinary power, maximum control, and optimal speed. Through the years, S-Class has been distinguished by its elegance, the future carries the high-style tradition forward with cutting-edge lighting and body styling features. We want S-Class customers to have that feeling of serenity, that feeling of calmness when they drive the new S-Class. Every generation of S-Class has been an innovator, and the all-new excels in this tradition. The all-new S-Class is full of advanced yet subtle features, all working together to provide an unparalleled experience for its passengers. It amazes me that the automotive age is changing and that car um, really is leading the change. Automation of the car, uh, the, the ability to keep the car uh, in a lane and traffic and to, to measure the road surface, things like that, which are just unheard of things, you know, no one thought about that before and yet there's a real benefit for, uh, for the driving experience. This is the next step in automotive evolution, a glimpse into the future of all things to come for S-Class. The all-new S-Class is truly the highest expression of the Mercedes-Benz brand. It epitomizes the statement, the best or nothing. Each of these vehicles were created to transport their passengers from one destination to another in a way no other car could. Together, they offer us a passage through time spanning more than 100 years. Each considered the very best of its time, credited with propelling automotive development forward. This is a family celebrated for its rich tradition, famous for its elegance, and world-renowned for a timeless reputation as the very best. Six classics of the past and one bold benchmark for the future. The S-Class. The evolution of excellence.